da 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 Do you want to be a geographic kid? Would you like to know the things the tiger did? Count the stripes upon a zebra Watch an ostrich Meet a cheetah You've just got, got to, to be a geographic kid, kid. See koala climb a tree While the whale swim in the sea Float with a sea otter Watch the lizard cross the water There he go <laughs> It found to travel geographic style Go out and greet the dolphins in the wild Flamingo take a flapping The great big cat is napping Did you see that hippo's mouth? I think he smile at you. Join the Geo Kids and you'll be smiling too. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, Sonny, I can't see a thing. Ready or not, here we go. Sonny. I hear you, honey possum. You missed me. Oh, oh, wow, boy, this is harder than I thought. Bobby, come quick. Huh? Over here. What? Huh? Huh? Ah. Wow! Nice. Oh. Uh. Wait till you see this thing. Wow! What is that deal? Ooh, I have no idea. A pupa. Huh? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? A what? A pupa. Butterfly's gonna come out of there. <laughs> Gee, how did one get in there anyway? Didn't. Did it? Well, what do you mean? Well, caterpillar went in, butterfly comes out. Huh? You're kidding. Nope. One of nature's biggest magic tricks. We call it metamorphosis. What? Huh? Metamorpha fun and what's this? <laughs> metamorphosis, Bobby, means really big change. And that pupa there, why, it's sort of a sleeping bag where a caterpillar makes a big change into a butterfly. Really? Uh-huh. <gasps> hey, let's wake him up! <laughs> Not a good idea, Bobby, but let me tell you the whole story. Grace the hungry caterpillar climbs the passion vine and munches on the leaves and flowers, eating all the time. Then a special day arrives when Grace looks for a place where she can put a dab of silk like caterpillar paste. She glues her bottom to a branch from which she hangs below. Then she curls up like a hook and her movements become really slow. Her body squeezes way up tight and pushes off her skin, revealing a thing called a pupa, which Grace will grow within. After a while, the pupa turns brown, and soon it's almost time to witness one of nature's treats, the most miraculous kind. For from this thing so dull and bland, Grace will soon climb out. No longer a caterpillar, she's a butterfly, there's no doubt. First she tests her brand new legs, then her long curly tongue. Finally, she pumps up her wings to let them dry in the sun. All at once it's finished, we've got a new friend to greet. Meet Grace, the beautiful butterfly, whose metamorphosis is now complete. What? 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 Boy! That is like magic, Uncle Balzac. Darn tootin', Bobby. Huh? What do you mean? Huh? 
You, pretty butterfly, you can come out now. <laughs> Can't do that yet, Sonny. Changing from a caterpillar to a butterfly takes time. Came out now might only be halfway changed. Jay, I wonder what you'd call it then. A butterpillar? Ha 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 ha. Uh-uh. A caterfly. <laughs> <laughs> No. Hmm? Huh? You think butterflies are amazing? Wait till you hear about frogs. You made frogs turn into butterflies, too? <laughs> no. Hmm? Oh. A frog is a creature that goes through another one of nature's big changes, Bobby. Gee. They do? Yeah. Frogs say ribbit and they eat icky bugs. Frogs are hoppity and come in lots of colors. But first they must change from one form to another. They start out as eggs, often laid in some water, and at just the right time they hatch like they ought to. Yet it isn't a frog that escapes from each egg. It's a tadpole or pollywog with a tail and no legs. Now the life of a pollywog is spent swimming around, just eating and growing. They can't make a sound. Little tiny backpacks. Wings. That's right. For the first time in his life, Drake had wings. And as he carefully unfolded them and let them dry in the sun, it was easy to see that Drake had completed his big change and was now a full-fledged dragonfly. Ready to take off and join the other dazzling dragonflies darting to and fro over the water. We're gonna count to ten now, ten now. Geographic, style. geographic style We're gonna count the creatures, creatures. Gonna, make a smile. gonna make a smile We do it all together, together. Oh, one by one. one by one Any way we do it, it's gonna be fun Here we go now one flying frog, two albatrosses, three caterpillars, four koalas, five butterflies, six salamanders, seven ladybugs, eight deer, nine little squirrels, ten twirling otters. All the different animals through the number dance. Now we did the counting, counting. from one to ten. From one to ten. We're getting so excited. excited. Gonna do it again. Gonna do it again. You can count the creatures. creatures. Anywhere you go. Anywhere you go. Look for them in numbers. numbers. Find the ones you know. One flying frog, two albatrosses, three caterpillars, four koalas, five butterflies, six salamanders, seven ladybugs, eight deer. Nine little squirrels, ten sea otters. Count up all the animals. Anytime you get the chance. Once upon a time, there lived a pretty pair of albatrosses. Abby and Albert Albatross. They were awfully affectionate. Every year, Abby, Albert, and all the other albatrosses came to this one windy seashore to raise their albatross families. It was a very happy reunion. Pretty soon, it was time for Abby to lay her egg. Now, bringing an egg the size of a softball into the world can be kind of tough. But for Abby, making a lot of funny noises seemed to help get the job done. Week after week, Abby and Albert took turns sitting on their big egg. And while one would sit, the other one flew off for some fish. 
And sure enough, about three months later, little Alvin Albatross announced his arrival. Abby and Albert were absolutely elated. Now, Alvin was an adorable young albatross, but he had a lot of growing up to do, which gave him an awesome albatross appetite. So Abby and Albert fed their growing chick plenty of pre-swallowed squid and fish. Yum, yum. As he was growing, Alvin's fluffy baby feathers fell out and smooth new grown-up feathers grew in. Every day, he furiously flapped his wings, getting ready for his first big flight. Finally, that special day arrived. Alvin tested his wings one last time and lunged into the wind. Whoosh! Suddenly, a new albatross aviator was airborne. Go, Alvin, go! Meerkat Masterpiece Theater, where the baby meerkats learn the importance of asking the age-old question, hmm, where's Phil? Hey, Uncle Mo, you looking for Phil? Aunt Mary, Cousin Miranda, Uncle Malcolm, any sign of Phil? Hmm. Hey, look, Mom, little Mikey and Dad are watching out for Phil. Hmm. What do you know? Mandy's standing guard. Okay, Marvin, it's your turn to watch out for Phil so Mandy can eat. Hmm. Now you got the hang of it. Look at that. Hmm. The littlest meerkats of all trying to stand guard. <laughs> Where's Phil? Hey, Mikey, leave Marcy alone. She's trying to watch out for Phil. Uh-oh, I think the system's breaking down. <laughs> Time for a milk break. Yeah, let Mom watch out for Phil. Hey, Mom, <laughs> where's Phil? And so concludes this episode of Meerkat Masterpiece Theater. Tune in next time for Mountains of Meerkat Mania. <laughs> Get off! Ooh! Butterflies are pretty and they flutter. Cactopheriasis? What? What? You know, that ma magic change deal thing? <laughs> oh, Bobby, that's metamorphosis. That's what I mm, meant. <laughs> well, now that you mm, mention it, let me tell you about mm, mosquitoes. Ew, they bite. Yeah, and mm, make you etch. Uh, uh, yeah, uh. and you know what else? What? 
They go through mm -hmm, metamorphosis. They do? Really? Yeah. Mosquitoes always buzz around your ears. Mama mosquitoes are pesky bugs. They're always flying around. Just when you least expect it, there's that mosquito sound. This mama mosquito lays her eggs in water in a sticky batch. And two or three days later, the eggs begin to hatch. The baby mosquitoes wriggle and twist until lickety-split, they're all free. Though they don't look like mosquitoes yet, that's quite plain to see. <laughs> Wrigglers, that's what you call them. Before their big changes come, they hang right down in the water and grow till their wriggling stage is done. Then, after a rest, it happens. Metamorphosis is always a treat as full-grown mosquitoes come squeezing out with their new adult bodies complete. <sighs> Who's that? Swimming in the water. Who's that? Living in the sea. Who's that? Funny-looking creature. I wonder what its funny name could be. This lovable, curious creature floats on her back in the sea. She twirls around in the water, looking as cute as can be. Sea Otter is this animal's name. See how she bobs in the tide? Enjoying her days near the kelp beds, taking her pup for a ride. The otter dives for shellfish when it's time to eat a snack. She'll enjoy some abalone while floating on her back. See that rock on her stomach? Now watch what she's going to do. She uses the rock to help her eat by cracking the shell in two. Crack, 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 she breaks that shell and then she takes some bites. She uses that rock just like a tool to help her gobble up tasty delights. By winding round and round in the kelp, this otter will not drift away. She can take a nap on this kelp bed, unless the other otters want to play. Playful and cute is this creature, the gentle and graceful sea otter, spending the days by the kelp beds and swimming around in the water. That's who's swimming in the water. That's who's living in the sea. Such a funny looking creature. Surely doesn't look like you or me. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? The whole idea, kids. Huh? <laughs> the big change is complete. Butterfly flew the coop. You mean we missed it? No, I really wanted to see it. Hey, hey, look, huh? there it is! Hey, there it is! Oh, pretty butterfly. Congratulations on your big change, pretty butterfly. Wow, yeah. Uh, so long. <laughs> Gee, what happens to this pupa thing now? Well, not much, actually. Hmm, <laughs> make a neat hat. What? Huh. Well, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh. Bobby, <gasps> that is definitely mm. not part of nature's plan. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> well, I think it looks cool. Hmm. Well, I think it looks stupid. <laughs> sort of reminds me of my Uncle Norval. Who? Huh? Did he wear a stupid hat? Nope, but he went through a big change, though. Hmm? Your uncle became a butterfly? Oh, no. Uh, a frog, then. Mm -mm. Last we heard, Uncle Norville was playing the bongos in a nightclub in Morocco. What? Get this thing off of me. <laughs> Do you want to be a geographic kid? Would you like to know the things the tiger did? Count the stripes upon a zebra. Watch an ostrich. Meet a cheetah. You just got, got to, to be, be a geographic kid. See koala climb a tree while the whales swim in the sea. Float with the sea after. Watch the lizard cross the water. There he go. <laughs> it fun to travel geographic style. Go out and greet the dolphins in the wild. Flamingo take a flopping. The great big cat is napping. Did you see that hippo's mouth? I think he smiled at you. <laughs> Join the Geo Kids and you'll be smiling too. <laughs>